Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love costumes and Halloween as much as I do, it is our time of year. And today's costume is gonna be awesome. Today's episode was inspired by a friend of mine, Maddie, and we will be recreating the vivacious and hilarious, very hungry man-eating plant from Little Shop of Horrors, Audrey 2. Let's get started. Start by taking your two pieces of poster board and first painting with French blue and then going over that, not solidly, but just lightly with the hammered silver. And that's gonna make it look more like an old can effect. Then you're going to sketch out in pencil all of your script and your Maxwell House cup. First fill in with white and then go over all of that white with the red. I attach the two pieces of poster board together first using staples at each end and then hot gluing through the center and continued with the script on the other half. It takes a little bit more than two pieces of poster board so I did add in an extra piece to connect the two pieces together. Then I proceeded to punch holes in just the top of the poster board. This is where we're gonna pull our string through to attach to the belt, allowing us to wear this piece and walk in it. To add a little bit of old can effect, I used brown acrylic paint and just kind of tapped it on using a paper towel. Now spray paint your hula hoops. I used a metallic silver spray paint for this. And when dry, you're going to hot glue the bottom of your painting and hot glue it to the bottom hula hoop and then reinforce with duct tape. And you're gonna do the same with the top. Now you're gonna grab your fishing line. Now you're gonna grab your fishing line or your Christmas ribbon, or your green twine, whatever you've chosen to hook your can onto your belt. I would choose one of the latter because the fishing line ended up being a little resilient to tie. Tie those around the holes you created so that you can attach them to the belt. Once everything was attached, I painted the inside black and used black duct tape to tape in the foliage. Now you're gonna to wanna to use a lot of duct tape because these were resilient to sticking. They were heavy once you got a lot on the strip. So the more tape, the better. I did spray paint some twigs that I bought from the craft store and added these little yellow pom-poms to them just to add a little bit more to the costume. For me, the more detailed, the better. Any little details you can add are going to make your costume that much more. And here's the finished product. I did change the saying to good to the last drop <laughs> and added the drop onto the finished piece.
The ladies at Hobby Lobby told me that this was a Hello Pumpkin and it wasn't. So when I got it home, I tried my best to cut into it. It was solid foam inside. So if you have somebody like your dad, your husband, somebody that can use tools to carve that out for you, um, or if you're good at using tools to carve it out, that's what you're gonna need to do to make this pumpkin work. Once your pumpkin is carved, you're gonna wanna paint it. I started with this meadow green and then added touches of lemongrass and I painted the inside black. Now my dad had put a sealant inside over the foam so that the little beads wouldn't go everywhere because it quite made a mess, he said. So you're gonna wanna put some kind of sealant that's a latex or water-based paint inside before you paint it with the black. And I would suggest going lightly with the black because if you go too heavy, it will start to break down the foam. Once she was all painted, I added in some bamboo skewers and this is where I'm gonna put my teeth. I took white Crayola Model Magic and formed teeth out of the Model Magic and then I hot glued, then stuck the Model Magic down onto the bamboo skewers, creating monster-like teeth on the inside. I left a gap because I wanted to create a tongue. Next, I painted the teeth with using red and yellow paint so that they look a little more monster-esque. And then with the red Model Magic, I started to create the lips for Audrey. And once they were created, it wasn't neat. I did not wait for it to dry. I went ahead and hot glued the lips onto the pumpkin. And then I started to create the tongue. I cut the shape that I wanted with double fabric and then sewed the two pieces of fabric together to create a pocket. Then turned it inside out or right side in and did another stitch right through the center so that it will look like a tongue. I then stuffed it with some polyfill and painted it with some of that lemongrass yellow green color. And here is where we're at. You will notice that there are cracks in the lips. Now when Model Magic dries, it does shrink up a little bit and dry out a little bit, and that's what causes the cracks. No problem, all you have to do is go in and patch it up with some of the same color Model Magic and it will be just fine. Then I hot glued some fern to the back of the head and to the chin of the headpiece. I thought it would be cool to add some slobber, <laughs> so I did, just using hot glue and letting it drip down naturally. And here is our finished Audrey head. I think it turned out great. To create the body, I just used my green cat suit that I used for the Riddler. Took off the question marks and then I just used E600 glue, it's better for fabric and glued on the ferns to the costume. I only did about from the hips up and the top of the arms down to the elbow because I will be wearing long gloves. This is the belt that we're using. We're just going to tie on our Maxwell House can using whatever string you chose, tie the can up to the belt and that way we can wear the can around and it can be kind of a hands-free accessory that you'll be able to walk around in. For the gloves, I just use my gloves from Poison Ivy. They work perfectly.
Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's episode. Little Shop of Horrors has a lot of characters. You can go as a group. You can do it as a family. All I gotta say, my dogs are barking. I don't know how you ladies do these stilettos, but I can't do it. I had the stiletto heels and it was rough. So if you enjoyed this video, there's going to be much more coming. And guess what else is coming? Halloween. So if you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. And I'll see you next time.